I think that a good way to talk about covering is to first explore and talk about exposure. To be exposed is to be without protection, available to danger. Exposure is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Financial people speak of being exposed to risks, either from volatile stocks or uncertified or unvetted investment schemes. Sociologists speak of exposure to toxic environments where persons are cruel and unloving. The medical profession would speak of exposure to germs, to viruses. As human beings, we are generally risk averse, seeking protection from volatile situations, from persons and places. This uh, uh, socio psychologist named Abram Maslow was one of the earliest people to talk about these issues. And he called our desire, our human desire for protection, our hierarchy of need. And according to Maslow's hierarchy of human, uh, uh, our human hierarchy, our needs begin with the basics. Food, water, warmth, rest, followed by securing safety. And until we have those basic needs met, intimate relationships, friends, achieving prestige are not even on the table. Enter faith in Jesus Christ. At our profession, of faith in God and our baptism, a type of death occurs, and our lives are now hidden in Christ. The first step in this process is shedding those personal characteristics that are unlike Jesus's. And this letter, there is a list. Fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and my personal favorite, greed, which they call idolatry. Isn't that interesting? That greed is a god? <laughs> You'll think about that later. This shedding may feel a little bit like being exposed. That's the way it's going to feel in the beginning. Because it's all we know. It's been our constant companion for a while. And few of us are really, really ready to give up the familiar for the unknown. It can be like getting out of the bed on a frosty morning in February. We know it's time to get up. We know it's time to rise and shine, but that blanket feels so good, so warm, and we know that the room outside is cold, and it's colder still outside the house. Yet, if we stay in the bed, <laughs> we will surely be rushed, we will probably forget something required, and we will likely be late. Saints, we can shed the contradictory personality traits as we come more and more to see ourselves the way God sees us, made in the image and likeness of our creator. And the new clothes, the faith clothes in Christ that afford us, they look like God's compassion, God's mercy, God's goodness, and true humility. These new clothes, they're going to provide protection from the volatile situations and people allowing a place for us to become the persons and the people God plans for us. This is the very best part. The, be the most beautiful covering we receive is love. The love of God made available to us through Jesus Christ binds everything together. 
It is God's love for us that encourages us to shed the bad old clothes contrary to God. If you remember, FN217 crashes into the planet. He is covered in that old crap, that, that uniform made of plastic. And as he walks, he drops a piece of the old. It's hot. It's horrible. But he drops one piece at a time, not all at once. And at the end, he puts on that new jacket, that jacket that was new to him but old. What you're putting on, faith, this faith you're putting on, saints for over 2,000 years have worn this jacket of protection. It's comfortable. It'll fit, saints. It may not look like it, but once you put it on, the protection is God's love, and it helps us to move through and to create a community where all are welcome, all are appreciated, and all are encouraged. Being in God's love is like being an m and peanut. And we are the peanut. When Eminem is making their candy, they start out with that peanut, and that peanut has that thin, awful, papery covering, right? The covering we pretend to want and we even pay for, but then we quickly brush that covering off before we eat them. The elected and selected peanuts are roasted, roasted hot changing their consistency, deepening their flavor, and sealing in the best of who they are. Next, the peanuts are covered in thick, rich, creamy, sweet chocolate. The kind of chocolate no one can resist. And as if being dipped in chocolate wasn't enough, the master candy maker covers the peanuts in a sweet candy shell. The shell is hard and it resists the normal jostling candy can often experience. And then the M&Ms are painted red, yellow, blue, green, and brown and placed together to serve a waiting world. Sounds like the members of the body of Church of Christ. We were nothing and nobody before Jesus came into our lives. We had that thin, superficial veil over our lives, and it was unattractive and tasteless. And at the profession of our faith, we are, and at our baptism, we are dipped <laughs> into the liquid stream, and we are covered with the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, making us sweeter and kinder than we could ever be on our own. And to make the covering complete, the power of the Holy Spirit surrounds us and protects us daily, encouraging us to grow, strengthening us to try, and protecting us on our journey. Together, enslaved and free, male and female, pagan and non-pagan, foreign and native born, become the body of Christ, taking upon ourselves the attributes of God, Jesus Christ, exempted and glorified by our faithfulness. Hallelujah. See, it's our recognition of the protection that we receive in Christ that allows us to grow, that allows us to change, to live that abundant life that God planned for us all the time. We are able to decide the current path of our lives is not the best and to choose a path of decency, generosity, and love. Who we were, if not in Christ, is left behind, and the new person with a new name emerges. The new we become is not perfect, <laughs> nor flawless, and that's okay. For God works well with imperfect, 
cracked and damaged vessels. In fact, I think that's where God does the best work. Amen. And this imperfect, cracked, and damaged vessels that we become need to be nourished and, and supported. And so God gives us the table, the table where the bread and the, and the wine become the body and blood of Christ. And we eat and, and, and digest and ingest the body of Christ so that we are reminded of what we set our hearts to so very long ago. So come, all this.